Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our Sunday school here in the rectory. Now, boys and girls, this week I've got a couple of tasks for us to do because next Sunday is Children's Day. Now, I know it's going to be very different than the way we normally do Children's Day in that we're not in church, but we're still going to try and do our service online. So I'm going to need your help. Now, boys and girls, over this last number of weeks, we've been thinking about a book in the Bible that was written by St. Paul. I wonder, can you remember the name of that book? That's right, it's the book of Philippians. And also last week, I gave us a couple of tasks. One was a memory verse. Can you remember what it is? It's from Philippians chapter 3 and verse 14, where Paul writes, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenwards in Christ Jesus. Could you remember that? Well, anyway, the other thing I gave us the task to do was to draw a picture and to take a photograph of it and send it to us that we could send to someone that's maybe lonely in their own home or in a nursing home or someone that we think might just need cheered up. So thank you to those who have already done that and sent it through. There's still time to do it. Now, this morning, boys and girls, we're not going to think about Philippians. We're going to leave that for another week. But we're going to think of a little verse from Luke chapter 11. And it's verse 1. Luke chapter 11. And it says this. Let me read it to you from my Bible. One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. And when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. And you know, boys and girls, straight after this, the Bible tells us, Jesus said to them, when you pray, say this, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us, and lead us not into temptation. Now, boys and girls, we know that prayer, don't we? Because we say it every week in Sunday school when we're in the hall. It's called the Lord's Prayer. That's right, the Lord's Prayer. Now, boys and girls, as we think this morning about how the, the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. This is where I've got a task for you. I need you to get yourself a sheet of paper, just any sheet of paper or card, something that you can draw on and something that you can cut out. Now also, over this last, couple, uh, this last couple of months, we've heard a lot about our hands and the importance of washing our hands. Now boys and girls, I'm gonna teach us this morning how we can use our hand to teach us how to pray. So what I need you to do, boys and girls, is get your sheet of paper, put it down on the table, set your hand on it and draw around it, okay? Draw around your hand and you can see, I hope that I've already drawn around this hand, my hand. Now, this is where you'll need some help, boys and girls. Get your mum or dad or somebody older to help you to get a pair of scissors and cut out the shape of your hand. So you're left with this, okay? You're left with this. Now, I'm going to teach us how to think of this in a way of praying. So what I want you to do is on the bit that's your thumb, on the thumb, I want you to write friends and family. And the reason for that, boys and girls, is when we put our hands together to pray, our thumb is towards us. So we pray for those who are closest to us. All right. So on this part, write friends and family. Now, boys and girls, on this finger, which is your index finger, the one that we use when we're pointing at things, I want you to write our youth leaders, teachers, our ministers, our pastors, because boys and girls, they're the people that point us to God. And also when we're pointing to God, we point up towards heaven. So I want you to write on there, you know, your leaders, your teachers, your pastors or ministers or the rector. All right, now boys and girls, we come to the middle finger. And I want you in this one to write government. All right, 
government or prime minister or something like that, because in this finger we're going to pray for our political leaders, for those who are making all the decisions to help us through these difficult days. And then on this finger, on this finger is the finger that we normally place a ring. So if someone's getting married, it's on this finger where they'll put a wedding ring. But you know, boys and girls, that's also the weakest finger of the hand, apparently. And so on this finger, I want you to write the words, people in need, because that's when we pray for people's needs, for those who are sick, for those who are lonely, for those who are sad because someone they know has gone to be with Jesus in heaven. Okay? And then, finally, your wee finger. And that's where we write myself. And that's where we pray for ourselves. So let me go through that again, boys and girls. Friends and family, our leaders, our teachers, our ministers, our government, people in need, and ourselves. And I want you to write down all those words, and I've already done it on mine. Write down all those words on our hands. Then, boys and girls, what I want you to do is just colour this in. Make it as nice as you want to make it. Draw a picture on it if you want, on the palm of it. Maybe write last week's memory verse on it. And colour it all in. And then, boys and girls, I need you to hold it up and get your mum or dad to take a photograph of you holding your hand and send it to us. Send Andrews, Killyman at gmail.com. Send us it so that we can put it all together in a collage for part of our Children's Day service for next week. So that's the first task. The second task that I have for you for our Children's Day next week is the Lord's Prayer. Now we all know the Lord's Prayer. The Our Father Who Art in Heaven Prayer. And if you can, it would be really good if you could get your mommy or daddy to video you, to record you on their phone or on a camera, saying the Lord's Prayer and then send that to us as well and we'll hopefully put them all together for part of our service next week also. You think, can you do that? Let's try it for next week, boys and girls. Now we're going to pray, all right? So let me see your hands. Let's put them together and let's pray. And we're going to use the model that we learnt this morning in Sunday School. So, Father, we thank you for our friends and our family. We thank you for our leaders, our teachers, for our ministers, for those who point us to you. We pray and thank you for our government and ask for you to help them in all the decisions that they make. We pray, Lord, for anybody who is in need, for those who are sick or sad or lonely and worried. And Lord, we pray for ourselves and ask you to bless us and keep us safe. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And then we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, remember to stay safe. Keep praying. Keep praying and stay safe. Keep washing those hands, boys and girls. Look after yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.